What do you remember from your sex education in school? Fifth grade. They split boys and girls. All the boys had to go around and say penis to get us comfortable. Then we watched a video where a boy saw another boy's penis in the locker. The boy was insecure because his wasn't as big as Johnny's. Our female health gym teacher was explaining erections and said that guys could get them from seeing a nice car and everyone was shitting their pants laughing. I went to a Catholic school. So we did have sex ed that taught some stuff but it always had some light religious undertones. Anyways in grade 10 we had a nun to talk to us about sex. One girl in the class asked can you get pregnant if a guy comes in your mouth. The nun was like um no. But how would you get semen in your mouth? I don't understand. Like she had no idea. She was so confused at the question. Putting condoms on a wooden dick and try to poke frames with said wooden dick. In high school, we watched a video of a woman giving birth. After it ended, a girl in my class raised her hand and asked if she knew she was gonna be on camera, why didn't she get her husband to help her shave down there? There was a beat of silence, and then they dismissed us to the gym to go play basketball. My sex education was alright. The teacher had a case with all the basic things in it, think condoms, the pill, morning after pill, etc. The teacher explained what everything was and how to properly use things. Think putting on a condom on a dildo to make sure you got things right. No one was really uncomfortable as in my country. It's a lot more normalized to have sex ed. Aside from some giggles. And if someone was uncomfortable, the teacher would talk to them and find a proper solution. They thought I had difficulty with it and I got pulled aside. Just dust in my eye though. We also got educated about inappropriate behavior and saying yes and no to things. Your body, your choice kind of stuff. Aside from that we also got biology class on what all the body parts do obviously. The more biology side of things. So we don't have adults that think babies come out of the same hole that P does. The whole sex ed part of school took roughly a month if I remember correctly. At the end we just had a biology test on the body stuff as well. And we also had some early LGBTQ plus stuff too. This was when I was 13, 14, so it's been about 6 to 7 years ago. Remarkably clear pictures of genitals with the various infections, clear instructions on how to put on condoms and use dental dams, detailed information about tampons and the risk of toxic shock syndrome. Then I went to college in Ohio and everyone was having unprotected sexual and I thought they were stupid as hell. Apparently sex ed was less comprehensive there or they cared less. I had two completely different experiences. In middle school we watched the miracle of life and a had teacher who scolded 12 YO boys for asking questions or chuckling at the subject matter. In high school I had an excellent mature gym teacher who went above and beyond, answered any and all questions respectfully, even the obvious troll attempts. He spoke about topics like healthy relationships, not being a selfish lover, how people have sex in different ways, and even gave us the it's okay to be gay by trans speech, which was considered pretty controversial in 1999. The teacher getting annoyed with me for pointing out the date of the condom I was putting on the fake penis has expired. I also remember about 10 minutes before that moment the same teacher emphasizing how important it is to check the date on the condom packet. In 6th grade, we had an anonymous question box. The students could put slips of paper in with questions about sex and the teacher would randomly pull a couple out for discussion. The class clown submitted, Is it true that shepherds out in the fields really have sex with their sheep and do the sheep like it? Naturally. It was the first pulled out of the box, we could tell from the shape and pen marks on the paper. The teacher was an older rather meek woman and her face got flushed as she silently read it to herself. She simply said, I will move on to the next one and I will discuss this one privately with the person who submitted it. Always stuck with me 35 years later. My teacher sang, you will use the proper terminology in here. I don't care what you call them outside of this class, but in here, 
They are not asterisk balls asterisk. They aren't asterisk D's nuts. Asterisk they are asterisk testicles. Asterisk. My old health teacher was an RN turn teacher. We were discussing STDs and talking about one of the worst situations she's seen. A male had a really bad case that went untreated for years, and they had to amputate part of his penis. Someone asked the question of if they cut it hot dog or hamburger style, and she just sat there for a good second, picked up a wooden pencil and broke it in half. I'm 31, that was in the ninth grade. This still lives in my head rent free. A lot of my classmates became teen parents. Edit. I make a joke, but y'all don't realize those children were raised by crazies and children themselves. One is 24 with three kids from three different baby daddies. In no way am I judging, but it just makes them e feel old. Like, I saw your kid when she was a toddler, now she's a young woman. Fuck. Where does this stop and you are a now grandmother at 35? Damn. When the teacher asked the class what the withdrawal method was and someone in class said. When you're having sex with yatras on. In my Catholic school, sex education was an after hours event that required special permission from parents. It was taught by a doctor who was also the father of a friend. At one point. The boys were invited to write questions on a piece of paper for the doctor to answer. He read one that said, Is a cunt edible? His face filled with Catholic condemnation. He said, First of all, it is disturbing that a boy who knows the word edible would also use a word as disgusting as cunt. Secondly, if you want to put your mouth down there so close to where the urine and feces come out, you are welcome to, but I never would. In later life, I looked back on the moment and felt sorrow for the doctor's wife. The very clinical talk ended with a Q&A. First question, why do girls bleed the first time they have sex? Teacher, asterisk eyes widen asterisk, where did you hear that? The kid shrugged, the teacher didn't answer the question, Q&A stopped. I guess the teachers were afraid they'd get in trouble with parents if they didn't stick to the script. This was 6th grade BTW. The teacher said, Ladies, if he says it's too big to use a condom, you should probably run, and then proceeded to wrap a condom around her entire arm. One time my whole class bought a bunch of bananas and brought them to the lesson. A few minutes into it someone asked if we could eat during the lesson. And when the teacher said yes, we all pulled out our bananas and started eating them seductively. This went for a solid minute before she shut it down the operation. Still one of my most treasured memories from middle school. Graphic photos of STIs, a birthing video, abstinence as the only real form of birth control, and the teacher going on an unrelated rant against students speaking Spanish in the hallways. You need a prescription for 800 milligrams Tylenol, but you can just take four of the 200 milligram ones with no prescription. I remember some lady teaching us how to put on a condom by whipping out a rubber cock with a suction cup on it. She slammed it on the desk and it sat there wobbling slightly. Then I heard a thud sound from behind me. Followed by my teacher saying, Oh, I think Louise just fainted. Weird thing is no one made fun of Louise about that, but it was hilarious. The teacher giggling at the 2 FPS sex animation. The woman on the video saying, If you think something is wrong or abnormal with your penis, it's probably alright. That was it. I was taught that HIV was God's good way TM of killing gay people. Hooray for religious education. I didn't know what a condom was or that the urethra and vagina were separate until I was an adult. I took to the internet in my late teens and early twenties to figure out how everything works. You can't dick slap the baby. Sex ed teacher when asked about sex while pregnant. I remember the teacher asking, raise your hand if you've had sex. I reluctantly raised mine even though I was a virgin. And I didn't want to be singled out only for the teacher to then say, some of y'all are lying. Lol. I went to a Catholic school. We had a book called, Sex and the Teenager. One day, in biology class, our teacher grabs that book off a classmate's desk as asks, 
What kind of pornography are you reading, son? This teacher was trying to make a point, and also very obviously gay. After the terrified kid stammered for a minute, our teacher says, This is my problem with how we teach sex ed. This book is what we use to talk to this all boys school about dating and sex, but it was written by Sister Mary Margaret and published by Avenue Maria Press. We need to do better and listen to someone who has actually had sex. He left after that year. The next year we had some dude in his mid-twenties show us a presentation about what STDs can do to your junk. He outed himself as a virgin and the whole class of 17-year-old boys roasted him for the rest of the time. Our sex ed was terrible. This one kid from my primary school laughing his ass off at different terms for penis. Like dude just lost it to the point that we had to give him a minute in order to continue. A girl innocently asking, how many calories are there in sperm? A girl in my ninth grade health class told the teacher that she heard that birth control is expensive and makes you gain weight. The teacher rebutted with how much weight you will gain if you get pregnant and the cost of raising a child, at least 200k per kid from birth to 18. Needless to say it was effective at shutting her up. Y'all had sex ed, the teacher said. Watch your boners children a pointing index. It was in 4 or 5 grade in the UK. There was drawings of naked people and I vividly remembered the drawings of positions. After I ended, in the girl's bathroom a girl stared doing one of the positions to the bathroom floor. Putting condoms on plastic penises. So many giggles. I remember a girl asking in grade 10. So 15 years old, if woman goes through puberty at 14 or 15, would that not be their body telling them they are ready for a child? To which my teacher had to explain that, technically the body was capable of a child at that age, but it doesn't mean the woman is ready or in a good position to have a child, and simply, being able is the furthest thing from a good excuse. And also, even if the body can produce a child, it's not necessarily large enough at that age to hold and bear a child without long-term damage. And number X200B. Oddly specific and I remember nothing else from health class, but I was already adequately educated from my previous school. Grade 7 8 had a useful sex ed curriculum that wasn't as backwards as what I seem to be reading here. Our teacher was also the wrestling coach, huge guy both vertically and horizontally. As a teenage girl, I felt awkward that this huge man would be teaching us about stuff like periods, but he turned out to be really cool. Eventually we got past the reproductive biology stuff and he started putting a huge focus on consent and safety. The topic of rape eventually came up. At one point, his tone and demeanor became so serious that even the class clowns that had been laughing at the word penis since sex ed started went entirely silent. He told all of us that his wife was raped in a parking garage shortly before their wedding. He then told us he himself was raped by a neighbor when he was nine years old. He made it clear how serious rape is and that it can happen to anybody, by anybody. He gave us the reassurance that if any of us had been sexually abused, we could talk to him about it if we felt like we had nobody to talk to. We also got the contact info for the school counselor and a number of for the crisis text line. It broke me a little when I saw several of my classmates start tearing up. He continued the safety unit with self-defense tips. The ones that stick with me are, aim for the eyes since an attacker with a penis will be most focused on protecting said penis. And, it sounds terrible, but be as gross as you can, puke, urinate, or poop on them to shock them into releasing you, even just briefly, enough for you to run. We also got tips on how to best avoid being drugged, like don't accept an ingestible item from someone at a party or bar unless you saw the entire thing being made and you have a trusted person with you. He even did a brief LGBTQ plus unit and openly discussed sexuality, which surprised me at this old ass school in central Illinois in 2013. Turns out his son was gay and he wanted all of us to feel worthy and seen no matter how we were oriented or identified. I felt so safe and well informed. The care and detail that the teacher put into our sex ed. 
unit was something I will never forget. Our sex ed teacher showed a video of her giving birth to her son, who we went to school with. Yep. That made for some good ribbing that we would develop hair in weird places and that when we hit puberty our penis would, according to the diagram, look exactly like a Cheetos puff that I was never going to learn much watching frogs humping that if the guy who they showed a cross section of a penis was real he would have been found feet tall with a foot and a half long dick. That really embarrassing moment when I answered a question about nipples by saying they only became erect when one was cold and the pitying looks of the girl in my class for my ignorance. And no, I was not corrected by the teacher. Don't touch anything down there, and don't mash them together. Very comprehensive stuff back in 8th grade. Not much. I was at a rural Texas junior high in the late 80s. I remember the head football coach from our high school came and talked to us. He was going on and on about various SCDs. Then he said even if he goes to a good friend's house, he always puts toilet paper down on the seat before he uses it, every time. All I've ever been able to think about is this guy taking dumps at other people's houses all the time. Who the fuck does that? That someone in class asked the teacher if you can get pregnant from anal sex. There wasn't any in the deep south in the 90s. We learned in the field that the Southern Baptist preacher's daughter will show you everything you need to know. In 8th grade, we had a competition about who could put on condoms the fastest on dildos. And the student that won, won a box of chocolate lol. Everyone has AIDS. Midwestern US, my teacher's balls were a lot saltier than I expected. I remember a video of a group of teenagers standing around, them chewing up cookies and spiting it into a cup of water. That was meant to represent what it was like to have multiple sexual partners. Keep in mind, this was in the early 2000s in the South. It was nothing but abstinence only and scare tactics that if you had sex you'd die from an STD. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. A dwarf meets a beautiful woman at a bar and after a few drinks, they really hit it off. They go back to her place and she gets ready on the bed. But the dwarf coldens get up. Classic health class taught by our PE teacher that mostly just slept. Our teacher reminded us that the penis is not a muscle and it doesn't need to be worked out. Face with tears of joy, the teacher had sent mindedly rolling the condom up and down a banana as she stood for a minute's somber silence on Remembrance Day. My teacher carried soybeans in her pocket to snack on. The sex ed teacher never wore a bra. I was only ever taught to abstain from everything. So I got my own from Dr. Doe, non-existent. Our sex ed teacher in junior high was a scary looking woman with a pockmarked face. Nevertheless, she had a delightful body, and this gorgeous skin tone. Every male in the class wanted to throw her a bone. One day, one of our mates missed one of the female sessions. So I immediately started this conversation with three or four others describing how she had slipped off her pants in front of the class, and demonstrated the proper way to install a diaphragm, even going so far as to suggest that she had given us both front and rear views. Front view complete with spready. To my delight, everyone else in the group picked up on this easily, and we had a very authentic sounding conversation. I'm not sure if that fellow ever took our advice, when we informed him that she said that there would be a private makeup session for those who missed it live. In hindsight, we basically crafted a webcam girl, before the internet existed. Amazing how many viable ideas emerge from your everyday variety shithousery. Videos describing the genitals, close up. Video from inside the vagina during sex and ejaculation. Penises getting erect. Putting on condoms. Videos. Giving birth. Naked bodies. Basically pretty much all the normal stuff in Europe. That HIV was originally a monkey's disease which first spread to humans from men having sex with monkeys and continued to disseminate thanks to homosexual intercourse cause the anus isn't made for dick. Therefore lacerations are made on the rectum skin making it easier for the virus to enter the body. Yes, I went to a religious school. Why do you ask? At the start of the unit the teacher wanted to get all the awkwardness over to start with. 
so she lead us in yelling as an entire class, all thirty or so of us middle schoolers, penis. Vagina. It was goofy. Could Thundercats happen? And what to do if a person loses a ring, in there? Both excellent questions in retrospect. Practicing putting a condom on a fake penis. My sex ed was so funny. There was a Catholic kid and he was not excited for it in the second. They put a tampon onto a screen. He straight up passed out. We were asked to write a question and put it in a box to be answered. I had no questions so just wrote the same as my friend. Then someone had asked, what is an orgasm? The two teachers present said, no. N -O, -O, o to the nurse. So I only remembered that bit, and nothing about periods or whatever else we learned about. This was pre-internet, but if it wasn't, I guarantee we'd have all left and googled it anyway. Should've just said, my dad putting a condom on a banana. He was the sex ed teacher, 